Hello and welcome to my new video. I hope you're all doing well. Well, autumn has come here in Germany and uh, yeah, I want to do something with pumpkins and uh, like felt inlays and leaves and yeah, I hope you have a lot of fun watching this. First of all, I'm putting um, glitter into my rim here and um, just like uh, yeah, painting my mold with it. It, it will stick because it's uh, a silicone mold and yeah, easy peasy. And because I don't want any glitter in the middle uh, of this tray, um, I take a little sticky tape and take all the glitters off. The base for my tray is going to be uh, made out of casting compound and um, yeah, I want a brown tone and I don't have any. So what I do is I mix green and red and uh, all together this is going to be a light brown. <music> When you first start mixing it, it doesn't look like much, but you have to trust the process in that case. Uh, but as you can see here, it's going to be a really light brown. So I mixed up everything and um, yeah, I'm pouring uh, the casting compound into my mold. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do uh, next is I will like really spread the uh, compound out and um, as you can see I have a paper underneath my mold uh, that works really good uh, to make it everything even uh, on the surface um, and I bank the table uh, yeah to get the bubbles out uh, from beneath uh, yeah. <laughs> and I spritz a little bit of alcohol on uh, top of my mold um, that pops the bubbles as well uh, like it does on resin it's about 24 hours later and I left it longer than I needed to and I'm really carefully demolding it. So as you can see the glitter really stuck to the casting compound and uh, yeah I really like that. Now I have to let it dry uh, another 24 hours just to make sure. So out of leftover resin I made those uh, leaves here and uh, I have them uh, in red and uh, yellow and brown and they are <laughs> itty bitty tiny ones I really like that moldy because you can see everything so if I would put them just like that into the resin tray uh, you wouldn't see the structure of the leaves anymore because the resin will take that away so I decided to take some uh, gold acrylic paint and a uh, sponge and I would sponge the color uh, on top of the uh, raised parts of the leaves. Sorry for being out of focus. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that really works really good as you can see because uh, it shows every detail into those little leaves. And I do that to all of the leaves. So these are the felt pieces that I bought uh, off of the German Dollar Tree and um, yeah I have uh, like pumpkins and everything and as you can see here I just cut out two of my pumpkins uh, to make them look like uh, they like really behind each other and um, yeah now I'm putting uh, epoxy resin on top of them and because I don't want no air uh, rising from those pumpkins or felt pieces um, when I put them into the resin tray. I do that from two sides and um, yeah when the resin is cured uh, everything will be stuck together so I don't have to worry about uh, breaking anything off. So 
So, and these are the other pieces that I uh, covered with the resin. And uh, don't worry if the resin runs uh, off of the pieces, you won't be seeing this anymore once you covered it with resin in the tray. It's 24 hours later and I'm taking my pieces off of the uh, parchment paper and as you can see there uh, on the underside they are really mud. But that doesn't really matter because uh, if you put the resin on top of it, it will be shining up again. So the parchment paper makes it this way. So don't worry about that anyhow. Now it's time to figure out how I want to put the pieces in that I just made. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you can do a lot with it. You can paint on it first if you want to um, and then put the pieces in. Uh, yeah, there's a million ways to do things like that. So I just try to figure out how I'm going to do it and I will let this run for you. So to my personal little life uh, update, um, as you can see, uh, or as you can hear, my voice is still really, really rough and uh, speaking really um, is yeah, hard for me, kind of, um, still after my uh, surgery that I had. So please forgive me for that and uh, yeah, I'm glad you all still here to uh, see what I'm doing and I really appreciate that a whole lot. I hope uh, soon uh, everything will be back to normal and uh, yeah, thank you for watching anyhow. Now I have decided on a design that I want to stick with and uh, yeah, I mix up my clear resin and I poured it into my tray. Mm. Um, and with my heat gun, I will get out the bubbles that are in there. So now I'm doing something that, uh, looking back at it now, um, I wouldn't do again like that. I'm taking mica powders and stirring them in, into my clear resin here just to give some pop of color. But if you do that, um, the, you risk that the colored resin will go over those uh, pieces that you'll be laying in there. and. Uh, the mica powder will cover those pieces and you won't see them anymore. So yeah, next time may, I would make uh, a first layer, let it cure with the color and then put the pieces in there. Good thing for me, it worked because I didn't uh, had too much resin in there already yet. Um, so my pieces weren't really drowning uh, in the resin and it didn't cover it at the end. So and putting uh, something in there and stirring it around uh, will introduce bubbles again into the resin that you uh, just took off the bubbles. <laughs> so don't do that at all. So now I'm putting my pieces in and as you can see you have a flat side and a rough side and you can decide uh, how you're gonna uh, put those pieces in. I decided uh, 
to put the rough side on the bottom, uh, the smooth side on the bottom because um, I didn't uh, want uh, a lot of air pockets underneath my pieces. Um, yeah, and I thought this will prevent it. Yeah, um, if you have the rough side um, facing up, uh, there's another difficulty that you have to uh, be careful for, with because um, it happened to me that I didn't put enough clear resin on top so a little bit of those rough pieces they be poking out the surface of my uh, resin tray at the end. Um, but you can fix this uh, if you pour another layer of resin. I didn't do that because uh, I ran out of time um, yeah, making this video and I couldn't wait another uh, 24 hours. I wanted to show you this Sunday. I will speed up the video now, um, yeah, but if you want to you can skip ahead. I don't have enough resin uh, on top of my pieces yet, um, they are still sticking out. So what I'm doing here is I'm drizzling uh, clear resin on top of those pieces just to fully uh, submerge them uh, into the resin. And later on, especially on those felt pumpkins, you can see those felt hairs sticking out of the surface uh, of the epoxy resin. Um, because they are really sticking up. So I think because I did that, putting the clear resin on top, uh, it like really um, took the green resin and uh, yeah, moved it out of the way. So this is probably the reason why the green resin didn't seep over those pieces. because I introduced uh, air bubbles again to my resin uh, by putting those pieces in, um, yeah, I'm trying to take my lighter and get rid of them. Of course I have to uh, take care that the leaves and everything that sticks up uh, is going to be fully uh, enclosed into the resin. At the end I uh, take my clear resin that I have left in there and I'm uh, putting it on the rim of this uh, tray merely because I want to uh, yeah, protect the glitter uh, on top of the, the, the rim and um, I really like the fact that the uh, resin makes the glitter show better. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. It's always nice uh, to hear what y'all think. Um, yeah, it doesn't cost you a thing and it's greatly appreciated because my channel is really small and uh, yeah, I need a little bit of help. Thank you for that.
So this is right after pouring. Um, my resin isn't cured yet and um, yeah. And as you can see here, especially on those pumpkins, uh, there are hairs sticking out from the felt. So my resin is cured now and uh, yeah. <laughs> I will put another layer of resin on top of it um, later on, um, but because of the video's sake, uh, I made the pictures uh, right now because, like I said, otherwise I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able um, to show you this video on Sunday. So what do you think? You like it as much as I do? <laughs>